Hey everyone, John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com again and I have an interview for you. I've been getting a lot of requests to do more of these interviews on the YouTube channel here so I have a really interesting interview with Paul Mooney today. Now you may have heard of Paul recently. He was recently on .NET Rocks and his, uh, his blog has been quite popular. He's done a series of posts on object-oriented programming and getting started with test-driven development lately that have really brought things back to the the basics and, and, and simplify things. So I think that's you know part of the reason why it's been really, really popular. And he's really been applying a lot of the, the things I talk about in my How to Market Yourself as a Software Developer course. So I wanted to uh, bring him on and do an interview and talk about you know how he's having this success and, and what, what he's been doing specifically to, be get, to get his name out there. Because I've been seeing his name showing up in in a lot of different channels lately, and uh, and that's good. So uh, so that's it's always good to see someone having success with with applying that. So uh, so welcome, Paul, uh, and thanks thanks for uh, for doing this interview. Hi, John. Thank you very much. Yeah, and I'm um, happy to be here. Cool, cool. So um so now you're you're in Ireland, right? You're in in Dublin. Yes, that's right. Okay, cool. So uh, we've got to, and, and we're getting now we're getting good internet connection. We had a little bit of trouble before, but um, but wh why don't you uh, why don't you introduce yourself uh, and, and let it, let everyone know kind of uh, who you are and what you're about. What do you do? Uh, sure, thanks. Uh, yeah, uh, Paul Mooney has, is my name, as I said, and um, I'm the host of InsideTheCPU.com, which is a, uh, a blog primarily focused on uh, performance optimization and security. So um, I suppose I'm a, I'm a .NET developer by trade. Um, I'm currently uh, employed as a, as a solutions architect, and um, I specialize in C Sharp more than anything else, else with a little bit of Java, and uh, also uh, Google Go and JavaScript. So um, I suppose the blog is, uh, is really about providing uh, performance optimized tools for developers and uh, also outlining tutorials in terms of how to, how to use those tools and uh, development best practices and so forth. Okay, cool, awesome. So now I, I keep on seeing you showing up, right? Like I just listened to your .NET Rocks episode, and right. I've been seeing yeah. your blog showing up on a lot of the the aggregators of you know of the links of the day type of thing. So so what's going on? Like I, I mean, obviously you've you've made a conscious effort here to 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 start you know building up a, a brand and building up you know getting sure. your name out there. What what are what are you doing to to do this? Well, um, essentially, I, I'm doing everything you said, John. <laughs> to put All it right. uh, to put it bluntly, um, I mean, <laughs> to put it in context, I, I started out, I think, uh, about a year ago, and um, I created a, um, a security design pattern um, that I came up with uh, around uh, protecting against cross-site request forgery. And uh, you know, I wanted to get some feedback on that from the industry, and I wanted to publish it and see, you know, what people thought, because. Um, at the time, I wasn't really a security guy, and uh, I was interested to see. You know, I was. I wanted to put it out there and basically say, "Hey, guys, you know, see if you can poke holes in this because um, it looks like it works to me." Um, so I suppose I, I, I created the blog from that, and um, then it occurred to me, okay, well. You know, I can't really talk about that all the time and, and so forth, so I decided to, um, I saw your course online um, and uh, I read through it, went through all the, the videos, all the, all the various tutorials and so forth, and um, pretty much uh, followed it to the letter. Awesome. Well, that's, uh, that's a ringing endorsement. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, but, you no know, it, 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 gives, it goes to show, I mean, a lot of people get the course and stuff and they don't apply it. And and yeah. you know, the thing is, you've got to like do do what you've got to apply that. It's it's one thing to get knowledge, but it's another thing to to apply sure. it. So so that's okay. So that's cool. So um so let, let's talk a little bit about one of the things that I thought was interesting was uh, was hearing you on .NET Rocks it, this morning okay. when I was doing my run. So how did how did you do that? How did that go about? Did you at did you ask them? Did you did did they approach you because of the blog? What uh, what what sparked that? Oh yeah, yeah, I, I reached out to them completely, absolutely. Yeah, I, my my blog at the time it wasn't uh, quite big enough yet. That you know, I think it would get uh, that kind of uh, notice. So um, you know, as 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 per your advice, um, I reached out. You know, at first of all, the first thing I, I reached out to was um, the roll-up blogs, as you mentioned. You know, the likes of um, the Morning Brew and so forth, um, Alvin Ashcraft, and that and um, the. Uh, those those guys were they very kindly included my uh, my feed in their daily roll-up, so I get a lot of exposure from that. And um, then of course um, I decided to when I had this sort of um, I, I think I'm at 15 or 20 posts at the moment. Um, I decided to see if I could 
reach out further and um Again, I reached out to the, the guys at .NET Rocks, and um, uh, very quickly they came back and they, they, they saw my posts and they said, yeah, okay, that'll be something uh, we're interested in, specifically the test-driven development tutorial around C Sharp and Java, yep. and uh, literally that was it. So it was one email to them, hi guys, this is me, here's my blog, here's what they talk about. Um, I'd love to come on the show uh, if if if, uh, if you'd be if if you'd be kind enough to invite me, and uh, they did. So there's really not much more to it than that. That's awesome. That's and that's good. that's great. And you know, just to hear that you you reach out, like I, this is some of the things that you know that people are they don't realize. I think is they just sit and yeah. wait, right? And it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe Morning Brew and and Morning Dew, Chris Alcock and uh, and and. Um, I just spaced, what's his name, the morning dude. Alvin, uh, Alvin Ashcraft. Yeah, Alvin Ashcraft. Maybe yeah. they're going to find your blog and maybe they'll include it in their roll-up eventually. But, yeah. hey, you can reach out to them and say, hey, I read this every morning. You know, I, you know, could you include my <laughs> blog post or consider that? So I like that. And the same thing with .NET Rocks. It's like I think there's probably a lot of developers out there that are like, oh, man, I wish I could be on .NET Rocks someday. And, and that they, but it's like, <laughs> go and email them and ask them and tell, you know, have something valuable. <laughs> Say say I have got this thing I'd like to talk about. This is why I'd be you know valuable to your audience and and you know. But but yeah, that's awesome that you did that. Did Absolutely. did you think Thank that you. those things were going to work? Were you like were you expecting to you know to get on those on the show and get get featured in in those roll ups? Um no actually I, I I wasn't sure I I completely wasn't sure you know I'm I'm very much um it's my first blog and so forth you know I've never never done anything like this before so uh, I I started out as you suggested you know commenting on like Stack Overflow and Reddit Hacker News and so forth but um when I started reaching out to people I really I didn't even expect a reply, uh, you know, to be to be quite honest. But um, I, I was I was actually quite uh, amazed at the speed at which and, and and I suppose the the courtesy these guys have, you know. I mean, um, Chris Alcock, Alvin Ashcraft, uh, those guys replied to me almost immediately. And um, yeah. I know that my my wife uh, recently had my wife recently had a baby there, and so did um, I know um, Alvin Ashcraft. I mean, he was I think he was actually in hospital when when he replied to the email, oh, right. you know. Which um, yeah, so uh, that uh, it shows the the level of uh, commitment there, and they very kind. Included my blog and their posts, and um, then with with the with .NET Rocks as well. Yeah, I mean, um, Richard got back to me very quickly, and it's 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 funny we're talking about that. Um, he's literally pinging me on Skype here as we speak. Um, you know, I I, I sent him a thank a thank you note earlier, and he just replied there as you were talking about him. So <laughs> there we <laughs> go. Yeah. Strange, strange coincidence. Um, I mean, I even reached out to, for example, um, Scott Hanselman. You know, for the Hansel minutes, um, yeah. I reached out. Now that was a long shot. I figure at this point, you know. And uh, I didn't expect a reply at all from him, but um, within I think uh, within a day or two, he replied. You know, very very briefly, very very politely, said, "Look, thank you, Paul. Um, really interesting stuff." But unfortunately, I'm booked out until the end of May, so um, you know, put that on the back burner. But I mean, the point is, you know, a guy of his uh, stature and uh, and demand still still took the time to to get back to, I suppose, a novice blogger, which is, um, I mean, that, that uh, that's somewhat inspirational, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, it's amazing. I mean, it really is amazing how how much. I mean, when I first was was starting out with this whole, you know, I, I had reached out to Scott Hanselman, and you know, and you know, I didn't have, I'd never been on a podcast, and he he was, you know, he said, like, yeah, okay, yeah, let's do a podcast episode. Same thing with .dot net rocks, and and once you get a couple of these under your belt, now you can say, hey, I've been on .dot net rocks. <laughs> Right, and so that's a big yeah. thing to say. So now, you know, <laughs> getting on another podcast is is an easier easier thing. So you kind of build off of those. You get that little successes, and then you know, I'm sure also it helped to get on that net rocks that you had been had your blog featured on some of the you know on the roll ups and, and and things like that. So that's cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, people are a lot more approachable than 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 you might think. So um, yeah, absolutely. So tell me what kind of results you're getting now. So what um, what kind of traffic are you getting on on these posts? I I recall that you had emailed me and, to, and told me some pretty large numbers. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um. I mean, if I if I if I post something, um, I might get up to three thousand hits that day. And wow. um, on average, then, uh, thanks. Yeah. On, on average, then it works out probably around a thousand mark. Um. You know. Uh. Over the over the course of the month. Um. But uh, I think, as you said, uh, consistency is the key to keeping those stats level. You know, I consistently blog every Friday evening, regardless. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. And how long have you been doing that consistently? 
And just since the beginning of the year, actually, you know, prior to that, I mean, I was probably getting about maybe 50, maybe 100 hits a day, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then, and then, so, so I, I guess I'm seeing two things that are leading to your success here, one being consistent, and then the two, you, you chose to specialize, like, you, you created a series of posts, right, with a very targeted specialty? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, um, well, I suppose how that came about was, as you said, I built tools, um, uh, for example, JSON Sharp, um, the encrypted token pattern, and um, a, a few, among other things, microservice architectures, which is a framework I'm working on at the moment. Um, these are all published uh, on GitHub and so forth, but, um, you know, you're not, you're not going to get, like, um, massive volumes of traffic for, that, for, for stuff you make yourself in the beginning on, um, you know, while it's, well, before it's gained traction. So it occurred to me I needed a hook. To, to, to bring people into the site to sort of see the tools I'm making as opposed to start trying to, you know, posting on Stack Overflow, there's kind of a, a limit to, to, to how, much people, how many people are going to follow into your blog and uh, fork your code on GitHub and actually use it. So I decided, okay, well, my niche is, um, as I said, I'm a performance optimization guy. So I thought to myself, well, if I did a blog maybe on test-driven development and object-oriented development, which are sort of uh, two topics close to my heart, and um, I thought to myself, it's it's cheating a little bit in that, like, well, technically, you know, it's still within the remit of the blog, you know, because, I mean, you know, it's still geared around performance optimization, you know, you do TDD in order to, to have, um, uh, I suppose, a <laughs> minim minimalistic code that runs theoretically quicker than <laughs> sort of these monolithic frameworks. So I thought, okay, well, let, let's, do, let's do a couple of series on that, and, uh, you know, I promoted it on, on Reddit and, and so forth, and um, that really drives... I suppose the majority of my traffic into my blog, and from then, from there, you know, people sort of pick up on on, on the other things, which is great. Yeah, yeah. So I, I suppose to answer your question, sorry, I beg your pardon. To, to answer your question, I would I would um, encourage people to 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 have a hook, you know, have something yeah. that draws people in. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a lot of people that are gonna contact me now. They're gonna be like, but John, you said to specialize to be the you know specialized guy, and and you know what what I would say there is that uh, that this is another way as well, right? I mean, you you've essentially done a mini specialization for a period of time, which will you know that hook that's gonna draw people people in, and then and then hopefully it will lead into your other stuff. But you may become, I will warn you, you may become trapped in this space because of the popularity. I, I think Troy Hunt did. I don't think he intended to be yeah. a ASP.NET security guy, but then really? he, wrote, he, he, he wrote the wave with it, and now he's, he's you know, he's, he's done, because that's the thing that took off. So sometimes you try different things and you see what gets traction. And and then you, know, you could steer you could steer the boat, but but that's cool. That's great that you picked something. I mean, you know, just I think you know the other thing to point out is there's a big difference between just blogging about random topics and and, and you know even if even if your your theme of your blog is more on the performance uh, and and security, um, at least you picked a theme for these posts that were you know that was very specific, very targeted, and and that's what you know. Sure. You know, it wasn't all over the place. It was very, um, and these and these are high quality posts as well. I think that's another thing to point out is Thank that you. you've you've got uh, really good examples in there. You've got you've you've put in the time. You didn't just put out posts to put out posts. So yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. Cool. So um, so I guess uh, I'm trying to think. So so yeah. So a thousand about a thousand hits. A, uh, that and that's really good. That's that's quick to get up up there to that mm -hmm. amount of traffic. So what are you what are you doing now? What's your plan to do with this traffic and and how are you going to utilize <laughs> this? Uh, you know, at this point, I gotta put you on the in the hot seat here. Yeah, no, no, no problem at all. Um, well, um, at the moment, um, my my blog is still hosted on WordPress, you know, so I do have a dedicated um, uh, domain name and so forth, but it is still hosted on WordPress. Um, I suppose from a scaling perspective, um, I'll probably have to look at uh, self-hosting as you as you recommend in your building a brand course. So um, that's probably the next thing in terms of infrastructure. Yeah. Um, other other than that, then I suppose it's a. Uh, uh, my, my plan uh, content wise going forward is just to, to keep on working on the tools I'm working on unfortunately I have quite a quite a long pipeline of that stuff to, to come which will yeah. keep me busy and in the meantime I suppose you know I mean it's very difficult to I suppose build something and blog about it consistently so in the meantime I suppose revert back to the, the tutorial type things on, on TDD, BDD and object oriented development I guess yeah okay well that sounds great yeah so uh, oh, yeah, this, 
this is uh, I'm I'm glad to see your success and glad to see that you're you're applying the things and hopefully this will help you too. Hopefully doing this this absolutely you know, get you some more exposure and we'll, we'll be doing a blog post on my blog uh, talking about you know doing a little bit of a Q and A kind of talking about what we talked about here. So um, before Great. we wrap this up, I did want to uh, to ask you you know what is the biggest piece of advice that you would give someone. That that's trying to start, kind of trying to start doing what you're doing and, and getting their name out there, or maybe someone who's purchased my course and is like, you know, what you know doesn't know where to go or or, or is feeling unsure sure. of themselves. Okay, um, let's see now. Let me let me let me think about that for a moment, if you don't mind, John. Sure. Um, <laughs> Uh, well, I suppose first and foremost, as you said, far and away the most important thing is is, is consistency. You know, I mean, um, I, I suppose think people from a psychological perspective take things. It gives it, it adds more weight to your brand, I think, if you're consistent. You know, even if people I think don't read every post every single week, once they see it, I think it just comes across more professional. And I, I'd encourage people to 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 stick to that more than anything else. And second, um, as you said, your 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 brand, um, you know, your niche, as as it were, what what you specialize in. And um, you know, you make a good point in your course material that like uh, everybody. Has any? Everyone can specialize in something, you know. You, you don't have to be. Uh, this is this isn't something that's reserved for, for um for for Mark Zuckerberg types, you know. Um, you, you don't have to have built a Facebook in order to, to blog. So what I would do is, if you don't know, I, I suppose what your niche is, um, just pick something you like. And um, you know, the thing about these blogs is, like, when I when I started mine, I, I wasn't sure what it was. If you like, you know, I I, I wasn't sure. I I didn't really intend. On setting it up as the security performance guy, that just sort of happened because I basically blogged about what I like to do and what I do on a daily basis. So, on that, uh, based on that, I suppose there's you know an abundance of material first of all, and uh, you enjoy it. So, I think the, the 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 level of passion comes across very much in the posts. You know, I I wouldn't want to get into a position where everything became mechanical and you know I was just doing it by rote, uh, because I think that would very much come across in in the writing. Yep. Okay. Great. That's great advice. Let me add one more question. I thought you know while you're sure. while you're doing this, because you talked about consistency, which is something I talk about all the time, and I think I think you're yeah. right on when you say that's probably the most important thing. A lot of yeah. people say, well, oh, I don't feel like it. I've lost my passion. <laughs> like, do you ever not feel like writing a blog post or doing? You know what I mean? Do you ever or have you not reached that point yet or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, absolutely. I mean, you know, it's uh, you, you can burn out quite easily. And uh, as I said, uh, you know, I've got a two-month-old daughter at home, so um, <laughs> things are quite yeah. hectic. Um, I'm 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 kind of changing jobs at the moment and moving house and so forth. So, uh, as you said, though, it's just it's just a matter of um, consistency. You know, try and like everything else in life, I suppose, just don't let it get to you. Just you know, move on. You have to you have to post every Friday evening or whenever it is. So just just do it. Um, you mentioned as well in your post as well, like you, you often revert, um, refer back to original, some of the original stuff you've done, and I know you've been at it for a long time. Um, and you know, one of the comments you always say is, uh, "Look, please excuse the, it's not as professional maybe as the, the latest work I do." So you know, um, don't be afraid. It, it doesn't need to be perfect. You know, no one's expecting you to be a, um, some sort of a master public speaker or, or, or a copy editor or anything like that. Just um, you know, if the writing's not 100% to begin with, it'll improve over time. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. It's impossible to keep doing something and not get better at it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, all right. Well, that's cool. Thanks. Thanks for doing this. Uh, I'm actually. Uh, we'll probably meet up uh, this summer because I'll be. I'll actually be yes. staying in in uh, in Dublin, in in Ireland for uh, for I think about a month doing a home exchange wow. there. So, we'll have to meet up and and hang out. So Absolutely. That'd cool. Yeah. That'd be great. Uh, all right. Well, uh, oh, let's, okay. Uh, let, before I let you go here, if people sure. want to find more about you and find your blog, it's uh, inside the CPU.com. Is that right? That's it. Yeah. Okay. And uh, anywhere else that they should uh, look, to follow you, or any, anything else that you'd like to like to plug before we uh, wrap it up. Oh, thanks. Um, well, not really. I suppose. Well, yeah. As I said today, uh, .NET rocks. Uh, you know, I, I, I speak uh, to Richard and on uh, about uh, for about an hour or so on TDD. So, if anyone's interested, by all means. Cool. Awesome. All right. Okay. Thanks. Lovely. All right. Okay. Thanks, John. Take care. Okay. Thank you. All right.